Welcome! Oh! Careful, Swirl. Jeez. <laughs> we have a cat. We have a different cat this time. This is Swirl. She's much smaller than my cat. And I guess she just... Uh, voice crack. I guess she just didn't want to be alone. Um, so she'll join us for however long. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, anyway, hi! Welcome. Welcome to the stream. My name's Micah. And we are continuing some Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should, uh, there we go. Get into this. Do I remember any of the controls? Um, briefly. Very briefly. Okay, so I did find the sticker and now I can leave my little abode. I did want to, um, is it F1? Yeah. So I did want to talk to Hamster Boy. I just have no fucking idea where he is. He's not in here, though. So, um, that's notable. Um, if I hit go outside, what does that do? Oh, he's over here. Where is that? The ranch? He's at the ranch. Okay. Okay, so he's at the ranch. Um... I forget how to run. Was it... Oh, here we go. It was shift. Okay. It's been a hot minute since I played a little. Um... Oops. Wrong button. And... At least I know where to access the controls now. Right. Truth bullets aren't a thing yet. Um... I wanted to check on the pet. Yeah. I wanted to clean things. They already have a despair meter, and I'm kind of concerned, because I don't think that's a good thing. Um, I, I think that's actually a very bad thing, but I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but we're going to find the ranch, wherever the hell that is, because I don't remember. I know it's somewhere, but the more we wander around, the better it is for the pet, I guess. That's, that's a whole other thing. Oh, hey, how are you, dude? It's good to see ya. I have a cat. I don't know if you can... Yeah, you can see her. I have a cat in my lap right now. She's been, um... Oh, hi. Can I, like, randomly talk to you here? I can. I don't want to, though. I want to go to Hamster Boy, because I feel like if I talk to you, then it'll be like, Yo, it's free time, so you obviously want to talk to this bitch, and it's like, no, I don't. Actually, she's like a huge misogynist. <laughs> it's really bad. Hey Gundam, you're gonna be our best friend. You will regret speaking to me. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like him? Yes, I want to hang out. Good, I got a... Maj Majima snow globe, but I don't feel too good at the moment. Oh, that sucks. I'm glad you have a snow globe, though. I feel like that name is familiar. Probably from an anime. Oh, why am I blanking so hard on that right now? I feel like I know it. Yakuza. Okay, there we go. I knew I feel I knew I knew the name from something. Oh my god, hi. Goodbye. What, are you done with pets now? 
That was very dramatic. Which is not unlike you, but still. I should play the Yakuza games. I was mentioning that on Discord, actually. I see. Do you not know fear? Or perhaps you are a Coppelia whose emotions were stolen? <laughs> I guess I should confirm for myself. Gundam continued to ask me questions that made no sense at all. Okay, so we grew closer. I do not have a present to give you, so... Whoa there! It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Let me ask. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, friend. What the heck is this true name thing? <laughs> hmm, so you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't have anything like that. What? Then what is your special ability? There's no way I have one of those. Huh, so you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a mere human can understand. What happened? Ask me anything. Oh, so I have to ask. However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try not to understand. What's the point in that? After knowing my true terror, it will be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Okay. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask something. Uh, what do you do with your free time usually? So you're interested in my lifestyle? Fine then, I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Training, human hunting. HUMAN HUNTING! That is concerning in a killing game, sir! Craft spell components, etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. This is all very strange. Which I knew. Because it's Gundam, and I think he's, like, the personification of 12-year-old syndrome, if you are familiar with that. Um, if you're not, basically, it's this thing in Japan where people, usually kids around 12 years old, they get really into anime to a point where they start pretending to be, like, their own anime character. And that's kind of what the feel that Gundam gives me, you know what I mean? However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. Huh? Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted, so only the chosen ones can view it. Cause that's... not... weird. <laughs> A mere human like you will only be able to access the dummy site called e Exciting Breeding Journal. Okay. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's exciting breeding journal anyway. Yeah, that seems like it's interesting. Then I will make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. Yes, you want out now? You were so intent about being in here earlier. There you go. She just really didn't want to be separated. I think, like, she just, um... Like, she just really wanted attention, and then usually once she's done with that, she's just gone and off and doing her own thing, usually taking a nap somewhere weird, like in the closet. <laughs> she really likes the closet. Do you mean a chunibyo? I think so. I'm not sure what the Japanese ni word is for it, because I don't remember, but maybe? Well, are there any other questions? What's your favorite food? Hmm, you've certainly hit the mark well. I'm fond of the orange melon which bears the face of the devil. Is there such a thing? Oh, a pumpkin? Oh. You know, that makes more sense. There's no other food as high in nutrients, nor as versatile to a variety of cooking methods. I suppose that's true. You can make pumpkin... anything, practically. To quote Wikipedia... Chunbyo is a Japanese coll colloquial term typically used to describe early teens who have grandois delusions, who, deliberate, who desperately want to stand out, and who have convinced themselves that they have hidden knowledge or secret powers. Yes. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm talking about. There is also an anime um, that's like all about that. I f completely forget what it's called, but the, char the main character has two different eye colors, one of them she keeps underneath an eye patch, and it's, I think, yellow. And yeah, she like makes a whole storyline based on that. 
<laughs> More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark divas of destruction. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. You, are, you very much love hamsters, I have noticed. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel off the thin skin, and lightly fry them. I mean, I don't know if you actually have to go through all of that just to feed them to your hamsters. I think that's more because you love them. I see, that sounds pretty difficult. That was a voice crack too, jeez, what is with my voice today? Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and pain are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose and take action for that sake. Damn, I was not expecting something so wholesome to come out of you. Okay. You're right. That's exactly right. Gundam is hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better. And we got a hope fragment! Huzzah! After showering Gundam with questions until he was satisfied, he finally let me go. Okay. Well, I didn't find a sticker because I wasn't really looking around for one, but I did do some interesting free time. Okay, so we do have some more free time. Okay. So, in that case, what should I do? Because I've talked with Gundam now. I feel like I should get some presents for people. I feel like that's a good idea. It dislikes earthly life? Fuck. <laughs> He's hard to understand. Oh yeah, the exciting breeding journal. Okay. So then I think I was... Yeah, I was thinking about... Oops, not... How do I... Fuck. How do I exit? Or QE, here we go. That That's the button. I was thinking of uh, befriending Pecco. She dislikes candy, but she likes black. Okay. I was thinking of befriending her, because I haven't actually like befriended her before that I'm aware of. Love, Chunbuyo, and other delusions. Yeah, that's probably the one. Yeah. That's probably the anime I was thinking of. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we'll leave here for now. Um, is there anyone in this area that I would give a shit about at all? Oh. There's the fake Byakuya. There's Gamer Girl, which I have to avoid. There's the manager. Oh, some people are in their houses. Including Pekko. Okay. So, maybe I should do that. Like... I know I should look around for stickers, too, but... Oh, maybe I should get a present, actually. I'll do- maybe I should do the present first. S go through the Monokuma vending machine, because I don't know if I have any, um... Monokuma coins, but if I did, and I managed to get something out of that vending machine, that would probably be good for me. Because I don't have presents for anybody yet, and I feel like presents would be a good thing to have. And fuck that bitch. Fuck the creepy bitch. Yes, I would like to get something. There's a sticker! I just noticed the sticker, oh my god. Ramune Blue Ram. Tab. Mm Kate, that's not the button I thought. I wanted to click it just to no, no no no. I don't I don't wanna buy it. I just wanna know what it is. I don't get to know what it is? Okay. Potato chips, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds might be good for Gundam because of his hamsters. Jewelry. Tips and tips, second edition. A toy camera, which I know is good for um, misogyny, bitch. Replica sword would probably be good for Peko. Hello, how are you? I have no idea what that is. Probably a, a questionable magazine. Summer festival tree. Okay. And these aren't even like the only things you can get. They're just from the vending machine. I know there's another area where I can get stuff. But how do I... Oh, wait. That's how. Huh? Are you serious? 
serious? I found it. Ha. Okay, so clearly I need to go to more places so I can find more of those stickers. Wrong button. That's good. I'm glad. We're just exploring the island at the moment, seeing if I can find some stickers as well as um, presents for people. Because I do want to give someone a present. I just... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just looking around for stickers for Monokuma. There's one! Come back. I saw it. Yeah. I knew you could do it. Nice. The more stickers I get, the more money I get too, which is nice. So I found... I found three so far. Okay. I have found three Monokuma stickers on the first island so far. One in my own dorm room, one at the airport, and... One at the store place. So, that's good. Maybe now I can get some mystery items. Oh. Yeah. That's the Mono Mono... Mono Mono Yashin! They called it a Yashin. I mean, not right now, because I, I wanted to look around. Because I wanted to see if there was a sticker of Monokuma somewhere, but... I'm not really seeing one. Um, so I guess we will do the machine. This is so weird. Does it function differently? During your stay here at Jabberwock Island, you'll find coins scattered throughout the island. These mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. Okay. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have, and if you put the coins in this machine here, there's a chance you could win a prize. So it basically functions the exact same way as in the first game. Okay. I just couldn't remember if it had, like, a different mechanic or not. Oh, wait! That's such a cute little animation! Look at that! That's adorable! Okay, okay. Okay, back this up. Back this up. Hold on. We're only doing one coin because of the repeat rate. What is that? I guess we'll find out. These are some interesting items. Okay, that's jewelry. Some sunglasses? Are those like black tights? Or were those shoes? Oh, those are the dolls. I really don't know what those could possibly be for. Is that a lizard? And I don't know what that is. Okay, cool. I think we can leave that alone now. Yeah. Uh, because I want to look at what those items were. Presents. Here we go. Kokoshimi. The... The pulpy white insides of a coconut. If you eat it with soy sauce and wasabi, it tastes just like sashimi? Okay! That's weird. But alright. Safety half shoes. These shoes only cover your toes, but the iron plate in the tip keeps your toes safe. Okay. I- okay. Passionate glasses? Glasses that let you see your passions as they blend with reality. They also have a function that lets you shoot your passion like a laser. This laser will come out of your butt. Oh. Okay. I really don't know what to make of that. A pendant designed with a coconut tree motif. There is a custom on Jabberwock Island in which parents give this to their children so they can one day pass it down to their own kids. Why? There's gotta be like a reason behind that. And was that it? Oh, nope. Desperation. A collection of famous songs by Tatsuro Furu... Fur Tatsuro Furu... Oh, fuck. Tatsuro Furuta, a folk singer-songwriter who ushered in a new era of folk music. Okay. <laughs> right? There's some weird shit in this game. Just for items that you can give people. Made from seeds and coconut fiber, these are used in Buddhist prayers. You determine your wish based on how you position the arms and legs. 
Okay, that seems bizarre. Probably based on something real, but bizarre. Iguana daughter. An iguana native to Jabberwock Island. According to local legend, this creature was originally a young maiden whom was changed into this form through magic. Okay, so I know, I know Gundam would like that. A photo frame? A picture frame that automatically converts digital photographs into ghostly photos. Okay, that's interesting. Probably good for, um, the photographer bitch. Oh yeah, the broken wand. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. It is definitely broken. Yes. Okay. I don't know how that's a present. Do- Like- Alright. Whatever. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. This is such a weird game sometimes. It's an interesting game series though, I do like it. Is the despair meter gonna go down? I fucking- Oh dear. I'm a little concerned about that. Like, I- Oh, hi. Gymnastics. Hello. Um, that was really distracting. Um, oh hi, and you're also here. Hi, Mr. Soda. I mean, Soda is, is technically your first name, isn't it? Unless in the English version they switch the names around so that it's not the way that it typically is in Japanese. Oh god, now I'm really confused as to what could possibly be happening. I need Pecco's house. Not you guys. This is Pekka's house. Is she just gonna let me in her house? Oh, what the fuck? I guess I should have expected a traditional Japanese looking place, but still, I was not expecting to be let into your room. I might lose my edge by staying here. Perhaps running along the beach would provide sufficient training? Uh, yeah, like, I'll just hang out with you. Then you run too. Leg strength is crucial for all things, and there is never a downside to training. I disagree. There's a downside when it comes to sore muscles. I don't enjoy sore muscles. I know that some people do, but I, I am not one of those people. I spent time today running countless laps along the beach with Pekko. I think Pekko and I grew a little closer. I don't think I have something that she would actually like, other than maybe like those those shoes. Maybe maybe she would like the shoes. Um, you know what? We're we're gonna try and give her the shoes. Maybe maybe that's something she would enjoy. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe this is something she would like. No! Okay, never mind. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're really not talking about anything. Hey, Pekko, do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of? Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Pekko's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see, a topic that probably won't offend her too much. You know what, maybe they do want the lasers, but the lasers comes out of your butt, so like... And she's wearing a thong, it has been confirmed that she is wearing a black thong. Thanks to one of the perverts in this game, because there's a few. There, There's a few. I know, Pekko, what level are you? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? try it. I won't be able to now because I gave her like a gift that doesn't work, but I can definitely try again another time during free time. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. That is my reason for existing. I guess it makes sense why you're the ultimate swordswoman, then. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pekko isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish question about levels? 
I don't really know much about Kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, thank... Never mind. Aww, that's actually so cute. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. So she would get along so well with Gundam. Because she loves animals and she wants to touch them, but for some reason they're scared of her. That's so sad! I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Fork Dark Divas of Destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Uh, yeah, her eyes do look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Oh, alright, yeah, I guess she really wants to touch those hamsters. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Peko. Next time I might be able to talk to her normally. I just, I just love that all she wants, and all she wants, is to touch fluffy animals. <laughs> That's amazing. That is also what I want. I was doing that earlier too, when the cat was in here. I decided to go back to my room. Okay, so then now what? What's gonna happen now? It's not gonna be more free time. I'm well, I'm well aware of that. Hamsters for everyone, indeed. As long as you take care of them properly, that that's the rule. You gotta take care of them nice. Eh? Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? Yes. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hello, everyone. The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Oh, you mean the killing game? I don't think I want to... I, I don't think I want that to start, actually. Um, can we, like, go I back to the heart-throbbing school trip? Await you. Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise. It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. There's a park. Wait, oh yeah, no, I remember the park. Never mind. Yes, he did. In the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. Let me guess, we're gonna be given a motive that encourages everyone to kill each other. Because that's what happened last game. So, if we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? It does look refreshing. It kind of makes me want a drink like that, actually. Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it, what is it now? Couldn't tell ya, bruh! But at least we have some of those Monokuma plushies. He calls them plushies, but because of their strange locations and the way that they look like stickers, I just call them stickers. Because that's what they look like to me. That's a really interesting um, look for the nighttime. How it's just like the moon and then like... I think some twinkly stars, or like, something reminiscent of twinkly stars? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever really noticed that before. Oh hi, I don't- nope. Those mono beasts, they can fuck off. Oh, hi. Pekko, you came too, huh? I have no choice. After all, the e-handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. I'd be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. At any rate, we must go to the park. I guess I have no choice, huh? Nope. No, we don't. Off we go. Uh. 
Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you are late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Ugh, what is it this time? So friggin' annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> huh, since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like you're a tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? You... What the fuck did you just say? Wait. Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, dumbass. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Huh? <laughs> huh. Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. You. What did you just say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, he's probably killed somebody before, or at least he's bluffing because he's the ultimate Yakuza and he needs to seem tough, right? Hey Fuyuhiko, why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard. Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed, that's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. Huh, the current rules make more sense to me than that play nice and get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You... Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. Sounds fun. Shot. Give me your best shot. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. enough. Huh? Fuyuhiko, I understand what you're saying. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Are you treating me like a kid too? But what would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want? If so, you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. Well, you what did you say? Listen. listen, so long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. <sighs> what, what the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true, my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. But I am Byakuya Togami. And I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. Oh god. <laughs> Yowza, he's so cool! Hmm, I agree. I don't care what you say, I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. Do what you will, however, remember what I said earlier. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. Okay, this is starting to make sense for later. I know what happens later, but I'm not gonna spoil it. It seems like Byakuya resolved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Oh no, he probably meant it. He either has killed somebody or he um, is definitely bluffing to make it seem like he has. Because, again, ultimate Yakuza. Um, ugh. It looks like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Why are you dressed like that? I was about to ask the same thing. Hey, oh, didn't I mention it in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time! Oh, don't tell me you're going to... Correct. That's right! Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine! Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course. of course not! That's why I brought my partner! What is this? Hmm, that figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show. Hey. Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? Oh. I'm speechless. Hello! I'm Monokuma! This is really something else. Now, I know it 
sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind reading abilities. Why does it seem like his eye for like his evil side is like really weirdly proportioned in comparison to like other instances of where we've seen him? Because it just seems like really strangely proportioned and I'm not sure if that's like on purpose or not. Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food is... You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Kid. That's right. Dabbers. I've never eaten a dead body. Now then. Monami's up next! Jesus. Come on, do a short spin or something! What? There's no way I can do that! No worries, it's all good! I know a technique to summon the god of comedy! So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive? Or after you're already dead? I guess it depends on the purpose of the blood? That's such a weird question. Why would you ask such a cruel question? Okay, I didn't necessarily think it was cruel, it's just weird. If I'm gonna summon the common deity, then I'll need a lot of blood. Oh god. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm, pretty please. Oh god, that was creepy. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy, she's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. Uh, okay. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Okay, yeah, so... Alright, so in my mind, this is what I've got as like a little theory because I don't remember all the details of the game, right? So, I think all of us have been transported into like a video game world where we're reenacting um, the execution games. And it wasn't originally supposed to be that. It was supposed to be like something else, I'm assuming, like something that Usami was in charge of before she got completely controlled slash manipulated taken over by Monokuma and had her appearance and name changed to Monami. Um, I just don't know what it would have been. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories! Oh, no wonder she was saying forget about Hope Speak Academy then. Gee, that's a little ominous. Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? I feel like it's actually Monokuma who erased the people's memories, but at the same time, that wouldn't necessarily make sense given how everything went down and how he arrived later. So maybe what he's saying is true? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! What are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy! What a shocker! I think one of the things that's confusing me the most so far, which I know comes into play later, I just don't remember how, but, like... A lot of stuff from the first game is coming up here and being essentially reused, and I just don't remember why. Oh, uh, I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old and nowadays. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story <laughs> to reveal a cliche twist like that. That definitely must have been a poke at everyone who um, had played the first game and was potentially dissatisfied with that. That is definitely a poke at that. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Please stop! <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all! You guys just thought you were because you've lost all 
of your school memories. That's awkward. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. That's because we have, and it's because it's being repeated from the first game. And again, I don't know why. Like, I don't remember why this is occurring. Seriously, this is bad in so many ways. I'm through dealing with you. Ugh, his backhand is far too powerful. <laughs> this is so weird. Everyone's like, the fuck? Huh? That's what did he mean? Hey, hey. How was it? Was it funny or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Hey, what were you saying just now? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories? Completely? What is he saying? Uh, uh, there's, there's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Oh, no. Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope Speak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's, That's right. There's no way I have memory loss. You can't. Don't. Don't listen to what he says. <laughs> Limit breached. I, I refuse to I believe, believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> what a twist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't even think, like, this is the twist. I think they're just throwing it in as, like, a red herring. Because this is obviously, like, repeated shit from the first game. And from what we know of the first game, like, all of the Hope's Peak Academy survivors from, this, from like, that class were only in that first killing game. So these people shouldn't even be Hope's Peak Academy students, from what I remember. Or what I can gather, you know? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually... <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point! Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed! What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. So, a long time has passed since then? Impossible. There's no way. Lies. On the contrary, why is it impossible? Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, you just no. don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Huh? Hey. However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> figured it out yet? You guys have to kill each other! That's my bargaining point! Yeah, somehow I'm not surprised. And like, this is a completely different motive in regards to like the way that the motives were done in the first game. In this game, they're just giving you like something right off the bat to make something happen that may or may not be true. Huh. You guys want to know, right? You want to know your school memories return to you, right? Hey, oh, you want to have your... whatever. Then you better start killing! A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories! Me hey, off. stop running your mouth. Well, my, my. Why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural-born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. Mm. But more than that, what are you guys... What you... <laughs> but more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What what do you mean? Hey, you guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah, none of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Okay, so we're being given the exact same plot from the first game for, like, the first motive, and I just... Why? 
There's a reason for it, and I just, I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. Hey! Oh, never mind. Hey! Why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it. That's right! There's probably a traitor! I don't even know about hiding among the group! Just kidding! What are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame. For real, you guys! How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't even know each other's true natures! That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him, anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> come on, make the preemptive strike! It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all! If you want to survive, you got to find that person before they find you. Well, that's that, I guess. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? Uh, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. That's right. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Monami, you would know. Is what Monokuma said true? About our memory loss and about the traitor? Uh, I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our very best. Huh? She ran away. Huh, how ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor, it's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything, a traitor hiding among us. But what really struck was when Monokuma said, you guys don't know anything about each other. Well, he is right. They don't know anything about each other, whether that be because of memory loss or because of just genuinely not knowing each other at all. But it's hard to say right now. And it seems like what Monokuma was saying was true because of how Monomi deflected. It is now 10 p.m. So maybe Monomi isn't, like, as good of a person as we're suggested to think, as we're, like, kind of almost pushed to think, you know? Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess you're right. This is Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um. How troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Not quite. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Uh. That's not how that saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. Yeah, I... Scared straight, I think is what she was, uh, trying to say. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like, someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. And it's Monokuma Theater! Okay, let me, let me drink some water, adjust... 
because I'm not sure how well I'm doing Monokuma's voice acting right now. They say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible, you can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. What am I supposed to make of that? It's probably a hint to something, but what? Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Okay then. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. We did, but I want to take a look at these. Okay, never mind. It didn't give me anything interesting, so... There's still quite a few there, though. Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but... It's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Oh, I'm sorry, I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what'll make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. It's totally him. He's the guy who's gonna betray us. At least I think. Not 100% sure, but I've got a feeling. Uh, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, what is it? I just said good morning? Why is she so shocked? My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Probably nothing good. I'm so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. um, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. I'm sorry. Jeez, listening to this ugly bitch's crying in the morning makes me so sick. Hyoko... You definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. Yep. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Ah, right. uh, just so you know, it's gonna be a girls-only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. How is it that there are two characters, and I mean two characters, in all of the Danganronpa series that are huge misogynists? Like, she's like a huge femi- like, she's not as big of a feminazi as Tenko was in the third game. Like, Tenko's on a whole other level, but this bitch, she's still a bitch! Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Um, usually just a lot of gossip, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. I mean, that was the plan, but y'all are being fucking weird. Are we gonna find that, like, someone's dead already? Is that what's gonna happen? Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking, not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Why were you late? Wait. You giving me heck about being late and then you're late and I'm around before you? Like, the fuck, dude? Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko is not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. 
Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Could he... Is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's a part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. What? Huh? A party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. Party till the sun comes up. Just so we're party. clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Uh, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You say that with such significance. It's, it's decided. We're having ourselves a party. What? Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard! Ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. An enclosed space. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Oh, wait, what? Foul language. Excuse me. Hold up. What happened? It was probably something stupid and did not deserve a timeout, and it won't even let me look at the message. Okay. How would I even fix that? Hold on. How the fuck did you- Why- Why, Streamlabs? I thought I got rid of that... Thing. There's gotta be a way where I can fix that, right? How do I untime out somebody? That's gotta be a thing. I don't- see an option for me to do that, and I don't know why. Users in chat, that's gotta be it. How do I untime out you? How does that even work? Okay, it won't let me scroll down. Why? <laughs> I don't want to time you out. I want to untime you out. I don't even know how to do that. Is that even a thing that I can do? Well, oh well. Hey buddy, welcome back. I don't know what you said. It just got deleted and I'm not even allowed to see it. I doubt it was anything foul like what it's telling me. I really do. I have no idea what happened there. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. Uh, of course, coming from this guy. I was trying to make a South Park reference about Byakuya. Oh shit! Oh man, maybe you might have to whisper that to me. I don't know. Or say it in the Discord. Because, like, I guess Streamlabs don't like it for whatever reason? It's what I'm using at the moment, but I know that I'm thinking about doing some research and just switching to a different streaming platform because of, uh, or streaming program because of obvious reasons. I can't stop Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the woman's only train and drag. I feel so lucky. 
that that has that has told a very in okay that that is a story and that is a story that is very bad um very bad story there's something wrong with you i can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud right <laughs> i may be a pervert but i'm the kind of pervert everybody likes no no you're not sir <laughs> your confidence is seriously impressive no it's not hey then how about that old looking building near this hotel huh that rundown place you're right yeah but if we do our best to clean it i think it'd be perfect Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed. However, Mona Mia is forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation! I heard it all with my very own ears! Ahem, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit! Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Then what? what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Ah, uh, she looks so disappointed. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes! If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen, because you're so disgusting. Do, you, uh, do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Uh, your kind words make me want to cry. Um, so we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? No. I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey. No way. There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Nah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What? Nobody's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. You're so fucking suspicious. And like, I can't remember why. Like, I, I definitely remember him being in Ultimate Despair Girls and like, being a whole thing in that. But I don't remember his involvement in this game is my problem. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Exactly, right? Isn't that suspicious? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment. Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. All right. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nakito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Well, uh, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. You know what would make sense rather than him being the ultimate lucky student? Which is also just weird in general because of Makoto supposedly being the ultimate lucky student, but then he ended up being the ultimate hope. I feel like Nagito would be the ultimate despair. And I feel like he's the traitor. And that's why he's here. That might be it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. Alright, first I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. No I, Tero Tero Hanomura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. He is sus. Then. then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Which I assume is going to allow me free time. Yes. Yes. Okay, so it is free time. Cool. Thought so. So I'm gonna save really quickly since we've gotten this far. And then I should check on the pet. It still has a despair meter. I don't think that's a good thing. And then I am should check the map as well. But before I do that, I am gonna just quickly use the washroom. I've been drinking a lot of liquids. So 
be right back. Yes, hello Kipper. He decided to follow me in. Which is fine. As long as he behaves himself. Okay, so who the hell is all here? Oh, so Gundam is in his cottage, okay. Okay, so in that case, I'll just go to Gundam's Cottage. I'm very comfortable in this, uh, house coat. I might be getting too warm and we'll have to take it off though. Cause, uh, it gets hot in this room very easily. Hello! Hello, my kitty. Oh, what the hell? Uh, alright. I was not expecting this, but okay. This too it's been ages been since I've attended concept. a banquet. The last time I was at such a party was shortly before I departed the netherworld. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've piqued your curiosity. I shall tell you a little story as a perfect way to kill time. I was forced to hear Gundam's story about a parallel universe that I swear he'd already told me before. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer. I will give you a present, yes. Um... Where was it? Yeah, I don't have those shoes anymore because they went to Peko and Peko didn't like it. Um... No, not that. Um, no. Yeah, I think he'd like this. And he did! Okay. I see you're holding quite an interesting item there. That item must be beyond your power. You can entrust it into my care for free. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. Uh, again. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. That's actually, um, true about hamsters, actually. Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Today's fight started when Sandy got greedy and encroached upon Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside and his foot stepped into M Magazi's territory. 
Then Maga Z got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champi. I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. Okay. That must be why he has bandages on it, because I think that's his left hand. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? I think so. Let me By the way, do you know which species of my four Dark Divas of Destruction has the largest body? Uh, Fuck. I'm going to assume a Roborovsky hamster, but I'm probably wrong. Are you talking about Roborovsky hamsters? The attribute they possess is somewhat incompatible with me. They boast such a small and speedy size that you will lose sight of them if you're not used to it. I see. Wait, now's not the time to be impressed. I made a mistake. Um, so the Jungarian hamster, maybe? Aren't Jungarian hamsters pretty large? Nope. Okay, cool. If that type of demon beast became so enormous that it would be superior to others, then its owner would deserve to die thousands of deaths. Just because they're adorable doesn't mean you can let them get fat. Think of the strain upon their hearts. I see. You're totally right. Wait, now's not the time to be impressed. Yeah, you wouldn't want a hamster to get too fat. Also, Kipper, what are you doing? You did get fat at one point, actually, and then I somehow managed to have him lose weight. Um, I think it was through playing with him a lot and also, like, taking him for walks and stuff. So now he just has, like, this pudge that wiggles around under his belly that used to be from him being too fat. Do you want out now? You had your phone? There you go. I am also getting very warm. There, I've put that aside for now. I'm in comfortable clothes, but they will not overheat me. So I guess it's a golden hamster. Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all, among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. But only Goldens know fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, I certainly didn't know that. However, that isn't the only feature of Goldens, they have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns, you could even say they have unlimited combinations. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur, a hybrid creature with dominant spots and brands. <laughs> but now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he must have more hamsters, but they're not on the island with him. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You are probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make there are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 195 days after they're born. Or 1,095 days, Jesus Christ. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels toward all animals, not just hamsters. Yeah, he's like, got a- he just gave us like, a whole lecture on like, hamster breeds and stuff. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Why would he be sad? Oh wait, no, never mind. He was just telling us about how he left hamsters behind, so. Okay, so we can do free time again. Um, in that case, I want to see where Pekko is. She's not in her little dorm space, but she is right here. Hi! 
party, huh? I'm not that good with social events. Let us hang out with Pickle. Yes. I have no reason to decline. Let's talk for a bit. I spent time today talking to Pekko over tea at the restaurant. I think Pekko and I grew a little closer. Yes, I will give her those glasses, even though I don't think she's going to like them. Like, I really don't think they're going to be a good thing. But here we are. Yeah, she did not like that. So you're giving that to me. Hmm. I apologize. I tried my best, but as I thought, it seems I have no use for this. Of course. I'm not very good at giving her presents right now. I didn't even get a hope fragment because I did it so wrong. Yo! Hi guys, what's up? We're playing Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. So, you know, someone's probably going to die soon. That's pretty much the gist. <laughs> Though we are trapped on a deserted island, that is also a thing. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. And this is where everything is probably going to go wrong. Because I'm pretty sure I remember that being the case. Oh, my my. oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Tara Tiro's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. He is, but he's also a fucking pervert. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Yeah, I don't think a Yakuza would be. <laughs> It's about time for the party! I'm really excited. Uh, I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Yes! You have a lot of self-confidence issues. And they don't seem to improve, if I remember correctly. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't! Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Metal cases? What? Dura Lumen, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergencies? Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but... He's so cautious, I didn't expect him to perform a body check, and what did he mean by emergencies only? Uh, there's a lot, I imagine. Also, why is there a... Yo, if Nagito was supposed to fucking clean this place, he certainly missed a few spots, just saying. That's the toilet, cool. Hi. There is a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Closed. Dining hall. Closed. Kitchen. And whatever this is! Oh yeah, something's totally gonna happen. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it's so old? I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventure is hard as pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. Yeah, and I mean, that makes sense, considering she's been so goddamn sheltered. Oh, it looks really nice in here. What the hell? Ah, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? 
See? I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. <laughs> I like this sk the schizor emote. That's super cool. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I think commendable is the wrong word, but yes, he certainly has done things. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Okay. Hey, what's up? She really, uh, loves food. Yes. That is what I can gather from this. It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Man, that was so uncomfortable, getting groped so thoroughly by a man. That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check. Plus he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Byakuya put it in that du Dura Lumen case of his. Aw, oh, oh, poor guy. He just wants his little old no. mechanic wrench. That creep Byakuya gra rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. Yeah, not a tasteful joke, though. Definitely not. Hmm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nakita went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. So we're on the same page then? I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it took me the entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes on the tables toward the front. And we have a screen there. AC remote control. Here we go. It's nice that there's an air conditioner, but the filler but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Is there anything else I can click on? There's a camera in here. There's got to be something else I've missed. Iron plates. That reminds me. I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All is not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? There are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are, con are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The hmm. Sandy, it appears your fur is wrestling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make Such a fine day. Countless lives grasp their first breath and countless more go to the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but... This place sure is a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring throughout the dining hall. Thank you for waiting. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm? Hey, what is that? 
An intense expression spread across Byakuya's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Dangerous. Okay. As he stomped his way toward the table. Oh, it's the skewers. Their skewers are considered dangerous and could be used for murder. I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. Because it is, but it's on skewers. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Oh my god. He's really going all out for this. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Huh? What? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Um, that would be me, but um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting, cooking with such dangerous items? No, 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 no. Dangerous? That's churro... Ch oh, God. That's churrasco. It's in a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Uh, what? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. I guess... Byakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. I guess we're going to the kitchen. Let's go. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Byakuya stomped into the kitchen and I followed after him. I mean, there's gonna be countless, like, problematic items in a kitchen, though. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me. Those two? Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and knives into the Duralumin case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Yes, he is. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... Out of the question! Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Byakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Dur Dura Lumen case with the rest, of course. But I mean, he needs those to cook. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Tero Tero, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the churrasco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Ugh, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Um, this paper is... I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive compared to a normal restaurant. It's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. What item? Hmm. Okay. Very Are you going to elaborate on that? Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What, what do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Byakuya has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in return? For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. 
If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned, now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Oh dear. What? The kitchen's a mess! What happened here? Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Uh, there are no knives or forks! Why? How come? I literally just said that I removed all of the dangerous items. Don't tell me. You're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But... But still! Ah, oh, Hajime! Stop it! Get off me! Huh? Not into that sort of thing? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Oh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? That is super fucking suspicious. It is so suspicious. If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Uh, okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Is there gonna be, like, music? Dancing? Ah, they're finally back! Hey, hey. hey let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. An issue? Oh, right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for you. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this Dura Lumen case that has all the confiscates it. Oh god. The issue is where to safeguard this Dura Lumen case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Can't we just leave it here? I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um, someplace safe? Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then, then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Huh? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> nah -ha. If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. That sounds like a terrible title. However, However Teru Teru has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. What? But if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Huh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. Also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. It's taking with her the Dura Lumen case and a plated... And a plate piled with food. Pekko left the dining hall. I see. Hmm, I see. seeing Pekko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? <laughs> this. No, this case is fine. That's weird. Uh, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you? No! No, argue with this man. Listen. This Dura Lumen case stays with me at all times. I've put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party! Stop no, there's still more. Ugh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already! 
Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. Alright! So you'll let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Wait a sec, if you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perf perforated. Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? S starve to death? That's a little extreme. <laughs> our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You. Hey, hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. No. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us. She might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Oh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh. Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Okay? But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's a li I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be I'll fine. be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So, it's all settled, right? Then can we... You're right, let's begin. Alright! <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. You better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Okay. Interesting. Something's gonna go wrong, though. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my pants from shoving food in my face! That's definitely, um, something. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. Yeah, a little. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. I believe it. I'll make lots more in the kitchen and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do! Those pictures are gonna be useful later, I imagine. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating, but now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together, friends who've developed a sense of unity. Okay. Uh, Nekumaru, did something happen? The party's just started, but... I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me. Don't stop me, Byakuya. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would, sh it would shame me as a man. It's probably him needing to take a shit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's exact. Yeah. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What, what is this blasphemy? What now? Impossible. My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Oh yeah, your earring is gone. Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit! Quiet. Shut up, don't you dare. Hey, is it really alright if I eat all of this? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on. Hey, Byakuya, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. Say cheese. Hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What? Huh? What was that sound just now? Well, everything went wrong. Huh? It's dark all of a sudden? <gasps> it's a blackout. Blackout. A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything. In that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed up as swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. <laughs> the sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, crawl down. We 
we gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Up! Oh! At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <gasps> that is... Mikan's appearance had been compromised. Oh lord! Okay! I'm sorry! How are you able to trip and land like this? This does not make any sense! Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment! Yes, thank you, Hyoko, for stating the absolute obvious. <laughs> Ibuki is such a creep! It's time to snatch some shots! Ibuki is such a creep! There's no way I can do that! At least Mahiru has like a sense of morality. Please forgive me! Just forgive me already! Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Yes, I agree. Oh no, she's so upset. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, uh, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no. I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Huh? Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Don't who knows me. You're so useless. <sighs> uh, it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Sonia, did something happen? Uh, no, Byakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Eh? Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um, did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now, then I guess I'll go look in the office. Then... I shall go look around the hallway. Oh I'll wait here, since I'm kinda in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? I must... Bathroom. I must man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez. Also, wasn't he gonna, like, shit his pants? Jeez, Mr. Hamhands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakuya go? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. What are you doing? Weren't you going to use the bathroom? Yes, but it appears someone else is using it. And the door's been shut since before the party even started. <laughs> Damn you, the bathroom is for everyone! How dare you hog it! Someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? That's what it looks like. No matter how many times I check, it never seems to be open. This is bad. Oh shit, I'm going to shit! Ugh, the more I try to hold it in, the more it wants to come out! Hold it in, come on, you can do it! Even so, that's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? If they've been in there since before the party started, it can't be Byakuya. That is a- that is a problem, yes. Um, I have searched the hallway, but there's no sign of Byakuya. Where did he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. Yeah, something's up. That's for sure. Hello, Chiaki. And Monomi. Chiaki and Monomi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hachibe, what about the party? Hoo-ah! Uh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. 
Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Well, now we have another problem. Uh, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said that he didn't go outside. That's, that's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Mm. No one was in the office. It is strange, Nobody no? was in the office? That's weird. Huh? What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Eh? Pekko's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom? Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Mm. Okay. Um, Did something happen, Akane? Nice. Well, do any of you smell something? When partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes. Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Right. It smells like blood. Blood? Oh god, that's right. She's gonna be like this dog character that's just weirdly ath athletically strong and has good, like, Smell senses? I don't know why. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast's, she suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. Well, might as well check it out. The smell of blood. What in the world is it at that table? It's under there. Under the table? I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Well, he did say he wasn't going to allow anyone to become a victim, so... He had night vision goggles on. Oh, there's a lot going on in this. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw... I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. Well, first murder! Huzzah! I just stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. There's just so much happening. This is Im It's impossible! Don't mess with me, this must be some kind of mistake. This can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce! Cause if it's not, this- Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. My, my, now this is interesting. On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Hold on, then does this mean... Of course! Byakuya was killed by one of you! What? If you look at the... If you look at the body, you can tell instantly. He was obviously murdered. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this, if this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Byakuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... That I've accepted the fact that Byakuya was murdered. What is this? Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? I see, I see. It appears for Yuhiko is the only one who isn't here. So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? A 
body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Yep. Class trial. Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct. That's right. For Woo. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible. It can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. Yes. I won't believe it. One of us killed Biakia? There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Yeah. Come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened, and it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, hey what are you saying? You can't. Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... Oh, they didn't say the last part of that. Okay. On my grandfather's name. Yeah. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Grave. They didn't say grave either. On my grandfather's grave. Hey. Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's plane. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? Hmm, I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah, it hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. What is going on here? Did you see that? The stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Uh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and lovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Ugh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... Um, you can't doubt each other, cause you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No, friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up, shut Ugh, up. shut up. Just go away already, you useless piece of trash. Ooh. Ugh, threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No, I don't want to do something like that. No. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... However, it is just as Hiyoko said, if we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I could believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves, no but that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality, that's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Well, In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroyed the evidence? Pointing. Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he did not like the idea of that. What the heck? What happened? Yeah. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough evidence- I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. 
That's what guard duty is, right? Mahiru. Um, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Please. So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. But, to perform an autopsy on your friend? How cruel. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe, I won't believe I won't it. Byakuya got killed? I don't believe that at all. Uh, Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Well. Oh. Okay, I guess we're not doing an investigation then. You thought it was time for the investigation, but... Oh, I guess we do need that first, don't we? Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a monokuma file? Like Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Let's see. The monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I've brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, my, my. Mona me, the meaningless mascot. You're still here. You Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Oh, don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Okay, there's a lot going on here. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal... and abdom... Abdomen... Uh, oh, God. Abdominal region. There we go. I can talk. Resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Byakuya is really dead. Damn it! you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Trust- distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. Wait, but if he was stabbed, and he had put the knives in the special container that was locked, that he had the key for in another case that was separate from the other one, which was in the office being guarded by Peko, then how the fuck did someone get a hold of a knife? In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way, just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save really quick. Before that. And then... I want to check on the pet. I can give it a present, so... If I can give the pet a present... I think I'll give it... That weird, like, doll thing. Those, yeah. Oh, 
Oh! So if you give it a present, that makes the hope meter go up and the despair meter go down. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. So I saved. And then I'm just gonna get some water, because I am out and I am thirsty. And we're back. Okay. I fed the cats while I was at it, too, because why not? Under this very table, Byakuya was... First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is... This desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why... why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind this... behind his death. Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumen case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Yeah, so it looks like it was taped up here. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Huh? Then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. 
night vision goggles. I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? That... or he was using them, I'm not sure. The body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something, it, lo it looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Um, blood stain. The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed, but there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood, blood pool. Which means he would have had to have been stabbed like under the table, or he would have had to have been stabbed near the table and had the tablecloth flipped. Like, I don't know, something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Mahiru, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible! One minute, Byakuya is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? That we have to find out who the killer is? Find out which friend killed our friend? I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This, this whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Gee. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said, got it? Yeah, that's fine, I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos, the ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Hey, Byakuya, everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture. All right, say cheese. Oh yeah, the pictures. Mm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. So the lamp is definitely on top of the table in the back. Let's see, it's this photo. Hmm. And this one. Byakuya is nowhere near that table. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was... Standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall, farthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something... Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it, then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right, now that that's decided. You better, you better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died. Yeah, I know, but it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now that now than when she was feeling down. Uh, I must I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it to 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 do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. I am terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. Ah, oh, he made me remember it again. And it shows it, cause why not? I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. 
Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up... Ugh, it's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. Ugh, I can't stand it. Why does that have to... Okay. Oops, wrong button. There's a lot of tasty looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Hey, hey Hajime, there's something I wanted to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it... But why was Byakuya's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's Although if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are, are you talking about her? Oh. Okay. Ah, this is the metal case Byakuya had with him. I believe he said it was made of dura lumen. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm? What's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is... this small key. It must be the key to the other Duralumen case. That other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items are inside of it. If the key to that Duralumen case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside that Duralumen case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumen case in the first place? A case packed with all of this security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. There's no- that's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. I mean, probably. That seems like the most likely scenario. Oh, Hellhound Earring, answer my call! That's right, his earring did go missing just before the blackout. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? Is it not a mere- It is not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound Earring. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through maneuverable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and its drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. So that's what transpired. Such a clever little bauble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the, f toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. Ah, there it is! I found it! Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Let me However, ask. how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up? What? Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring. You. Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. I mean, in a way he sort of did. There's still other things to investigate. A remote-controlled air conditioner. Hmm, air conditioner. Could it be... Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Huh? 
What was that sound just now? This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room, and the air conditioner's remote control, the timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... That mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration weren't- aren't as bad as I thought! I mean, that makes sense. Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Ah, Hajime, a moment? Hmm? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, will you- been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> eh, you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings toward Hope Speak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. No. I guess for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. I see. Apparently a great I see. man once said investigations should be done on foot. Well, that might just be who I think it is, but hold on.
It was exactly who I thought it was. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Hello. I know you snuck in here with me because you wanted to. And you're showing the audience your asshole again. How brilliant. Lovely. Yeah? Are you gonna do your special little jump? Apparently a great man once said investigations should be done on foot. Yes! So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Eh? How'd you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Tee-hee! Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> La li la la! I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'ma take a bite out of for you. Yep. I'ma take a bite out of you. Okay. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it! What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right, it was Mahiru. It's a blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Yeah, what a nice remark I made. It's to the point and has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This is. Oh hi, welcome back. Ow. Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You want back out now? Okay. I see you. There you go. I'm gonna just stand here. If you want out, you want out. You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. Hehe, <laughs> aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell, what's going on here, and this is... What do you mean? About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yes! Then praise me! Let me bite ya! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Because she's weird, I guess. She is something else. Okay. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Uh, what is it? Um, it, is it appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm? you never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow. I see. It's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. You know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Okay. I don't really know what to make of that. Hmm, how come Byakuya was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the hell, what's going on here, or this is? It makes me wonder. The 
storage room is really dusty and dark. Whoa. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Hello! I think he... Yeah, he dipped. He was in here grabbing something. I'm not sure what he needed, but... He is gone now. Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain, which means the tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. There is an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Irons? Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? It's like someone was purposely trying to overload the breaker. Hajime. Hey, Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm? I get it, you're right. I mean, yeah, but why are you the one that's making me think like that? Huh? Like, why are you suggesting that? You're a creepy dude! I guess I should go into the kitchen now. Haven't looked in there. And then after that, it would be checking the bathroom, I assume. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teru Teru? Uh. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too! And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too! It was, like, pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? Oh, no, no, no. that's impossible. The gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. That's probably gonna come in handy later. Byakuya must have confiscated all of the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakuya's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. I disagree. It definitely pertains to the murder. And then, I don't think those have anything to do with stuff. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Ayo Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less I Aoyama. Aoyama or Azabu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> I asked Nakamaru, apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. Okay! His bare hands! That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekumaru's so wild. He's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Aoyama and Azabu. Go figure! So wild country, things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. 
The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekka, who took some portions for herself. Okay. Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them? Well, it's not like I actually believed it, but if there really is a killer out there... Oh, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, sure thing. So I guess that's all I can investigate here. It's not a lot. Then in that case, we only have the bathroom and something else. Huh, it's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey, hey is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. That's suspicious as fuck, dude. Okay. The old building's circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Where the fuck even would that be? Exactly? Also, I found a Monokuma sticker. Or plushie, or whatever. I've been found. Yeah, hi. I did find you. Where would the circuit breaker even be? Like, it wouldn't be this thing. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? I don't think it's a coincidence. That must be this old building's circuit breaker. Why is the circuit breaker, like, basically on the roof? The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Wild... Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right, even with the stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it! Whoa. It's here! Actually. You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker! By the way... Ha, uh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey. Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. Liar. I'm serious. Want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No, thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh, really? Such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokuma is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first prize! I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped... Oh, they totally set it to be tripped. Th there, that's a whole thing. This Dura, Dura Lumen case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Byakuya had the key to this particular Dura Lumen case with him. <sighs> check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? See, it's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here, because the key to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. I can already tell you doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred and during that time Byakuya was killed. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralumin case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... 
Ugh. Ugh. Pico suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Pecco, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Ugh, it seems like it'd be a rough, a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pecco as it is. Huh? What does this mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? I'm assuming food poisoning. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pecco the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pecco's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like, an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Okay. So then is there anything else to investigate after this point? Yep. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right. Why does he say that? What does he have to believe that he knows that he can have any right to say that? All right, then let's get going to Byakuya's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Oh, they're trying to get the earring. Hey, what are you doing? I think. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? Of course, that's what he's focused on. If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, hmm. uh, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh right, Fuyuhiko. Mm. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Uh -huh. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Uh -huh. Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone in a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Huh, how diligent of you. Hey, hey. 
You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Well, no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else, that's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When did we start talking about video games? I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. He keeps saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I will most assuredly reclaim the hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. And I don't really blame him, like, I guess that earring is something that's very important to him, so... What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently Byakuya is the one who got killed. So what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh. huh. Checking my alibi, huh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. Huh. huh. Dumbass. Definitely not a coincidence. He's just a fucking tsundere. Right. Now then, we must head over to Byakuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. How would I get lost trying to find Byakuya's fucking house? Like, that should not be very difficult. Huh? It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Na Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. hey Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Though, it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well... This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm. For the class trial? Hmm, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. See? I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, there's a lot of books in here. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Huh? This is... Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would sense a thing like this? Maybe... This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh. The first kill will happen tonight, because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility, just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? 
He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. Hmm, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all this way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> uh, which reminds me, you asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. Where the hell are you going? He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. I guess so. But it seems really weird that at this point is when Nagito dips out. You know what I mean? Really suspicious. Needless to say. Oh, hi. <laughs> too cruel! This is just too cruel! Oh yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't wanna. I don't wanna help you guys mistrust your friends. What the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see, the renovation, so that's why you covered them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. This isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. I find it interesting that she has mushrooms appear on her head when Junko also has mushrooms appear on her head when she has the sad personality switch thing happen. <laughs> what the? What the hell was that loud voice just now? The bathroom seems to be open, but I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. So it opened up. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekomaro Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? What? I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Yeah. Jeez. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. <gasps> Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout. So and the bathroom is... was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. They would have had to be in here. So... Shit, what would I- what did I- right, I need to go back in the dining hall. Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? 
I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Hey. We'll just take a look at this. Um. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. It... Hmm. I feel like the only person who could have done it would have been Teru Teru, potentially. But I don't really see what motive he would have. I've made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Byakuya was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... Hey. So did you find something? Hmm, it's not clear to me yet, but hmm. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again. Which is what I believe. Ah. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. So it was the missing skewer that was actually the murder weapon, not that bloody knife. Uh, I'm sorry. Still around five millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. And now it's probably time. Alrighty guys, it's finally time. That's right, it's time for the long-awaited class trial. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Oh, so that's the place he designed for all of this. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Gross. Well, I guess we have to head over there. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island? Yeah, that's gonna be something else. Also, um, let me check on the pet real quick. I did need to clean some stuff. Cool. Um... So it won't be in the park. Oops, wrong button. Oh! It kind of, it's in a cocoon. That's weird. We have a snake for the third island. That's a lighthouse and a bird thing. And then, whatever you want to call that. Oh look, here it is, Monokuma Rock. Oh. Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? That story... That story might be true after all. 
There might be an enormous organization involved in all of this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Byakuya, Byakuya, Byakuya. What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Oh, I know, they probably ran away. No way! Ah, oh, hell nah! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know! Look, I dragged this one back over here! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. you. How can you say something so irresponsible? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait. Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. Um, and I guess we're waiting for Gundam? I am right here. Then, Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. And he has his earring back. Huh? Hey. It seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well, now. He can get under there. Alright, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial. Oh, well, God. Let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Wait. Pl please wait a second. What's this? Bye, my Monami. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I... I... Hmm? Do you actually want to join in? You Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought! Special oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. See? I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over! He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance. I. 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 Okay. All right. What the? Something's shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. A giant escalator. <laughs> Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Mega Z is trembling with fear. Whoa! Whoa that's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 forgive hey. me. Seriously, just forgive me already. Uh, hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No There's way no way. Go. There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid. Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock, Okay. This is an elevator. I mean, he did just say that he was going to put us in an elevator and take us down to wherever we were going, but yes. Um, but on that note, my voice is getting tired, and I could also probably use some supper. So, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that you've really been enjoying yourself so far on our little adventure. And... We'll be playing some more of this later, not entirely sure when, but I kind of wanted to play it today, and yeah, we'll probably end up playing it next year, because um, there's going to be like the last two weeks of December I plan to take off just for like vacation, I guess, when it comes from streaming, comes to streaming and things like that. I'm not really actually going on vacation, but I thought the last two weeks of December would be like a good break from streaming before resuming in the new year so we may not play this game until the new year keep that in mind <laughs> all right i'll catch you guys later i hope you have a good day or night depending on where it is where you are and yeah
bye